Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I'm here to do the weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. And I'm using the Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Baron Reed. If you'd like to purchase this amazing deck, click the link in the description box down below. It will take you right to Amazon to purchase. And as I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers the highest good of all. You could use it as a pick a card reading, one, two, or three, or a blended reading with all three cards. I will take a card from the center for the middle of the month or card two and the bottom card for the end of the week or card three. So the beginning of the week or card number one is in perfect harmony. Okay, and this is card number 11 for those of you that follow numerology. And it says you're entering a time of healthy, harmonious partnerships. Collaboration is key here as you're invited to explore the potential inherent in making commitment to another person, a group, or even yourself. Know that you're bringing different gifts to the table. You don't have to be an exact step with everyone else. Being your authentic self actually brings you into alignment with others. You are a note in the harmony that neither overpowers nor over... <laughs> I'm tongue-tied today. You're a note in the harmony that neither overpowers nor is overpowered by any other. Your beautiful independence allows you all to shine. Just keep an eye out for a sign that your subconscious, which has been conditioned by your previous hurts and experiences, is working in a way not in accord with what your healthy self intends. For example, if you desire a relationship but expect to be betrayed, so you unconsciously sabotage it. You say you want to lose weight, but you continue to eat compulsively and avoid exercise. In these moments, you're not attuned with yourself, and this disharmony spills out into all other parts of your life. If this is happening, you might want to take a hard look at yourself, do some self-inventory, forgive yourself, and then start singing a new song of self-love and acceptance. And then in the middle of the week, or those of you that picked card number two, Close Encounters. And this is card number 10. And it's saying that this is a time of connection that asks for you to be vulnerable and authentic. Let go of any social masks or constructs you use to keep yourself apart from others. Lower your shield and allow yourself to step into a dance of intimacy. When you become close to people, you remind yourself that you're not alone. You're part of a beautiful, meaningful bond. At a deep spiritual level, there are so many lessons offered to you in this closeness. At a social level, intimate relationships help you ignite the spark of life that is the power of affinity. You flourish as a result of offering emotional honesty, a true desire for equality, love, friendship, and laughter. And these two cards go so perfect together about being in groups, you know, and, and blending in and, and forming this harmonious uh, harmony here and then you know being part of you know something just uh, beyond yourself and you know sharing with others and then the last card for the end of the week is tender embrace and this is card number 22 um, and it's telling you to you know put your hand on your heart and breathe deeply inhaling a sense of gratitude you know and keep doing this um, tuning into the world around you, others you know, and even those you don't know, okay? And compassion, this is a card of compassion. That's, you know, compassion is an emotion of tenderness and sensitivity. It's a feeling of benevolence and reverence as you stand witness to the suffering of the world. Now it's time to reduce that pain and focus on compassion in all areas of your life. Today, do something deliberately kind for another. Even looking at a stranger in the eye and smiling can make a world of difference. And it really does because, you know what? I'm sorry. There's the card. Um, you know, just smiling at people. It conveys a message without saying a word. And I do it all the time. Some people smile back. Some people don't. But be happy that you're the one that smiled and not the one that smiled, didn't smile back. So today make a commitment, you know, to practice uh, self-compassion for yourself too. Release yourself from the burdens of perfectionism. Allow yourself the grace to be human and then do the same for others. It's not your job to tell others how to express themselves. Even if you don't like the way the world behaves, today be kind for no reason at all and watch miracles arise. Beautiful message. It's a, a message of the collective and, and being as one and, you know, joining together. What a beautiful week. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.